hi hi everybody welcome to my channel i start doing kind of a challenge for one month i'm going to live heavy and i'm going to do cardio every single day when i'm going to work out the gym as well i'm going to have a little routine for abs every single day of the gym um my purpose is i try to bulk my legs and also tie my core and it kind of i have been trying this since i get the accident i lost a lot of weight i lost a lot of tone a lot of muscle and also i lost strengthening it was kind of hard for me to come back to the shin because i got an injury in my neck and i was really weak and I still feel what I weak in my right side, kind of like I feel stronger in my left side. This challenge we can call like bulking legs and tight core. Something that is pretty important uh, when you are doing any physical activity is your intake of protein. You have to have enough intake of protein in order to build muscle. It doesn't matter if you live heavy or you work out five days a week or you do supersets and hypertrophy training and work harder. If you do not have a good intake of protein, you are going to burn your muscle and then you are not going to build muscle. We should be uh, sure that we get protein in our breakfast, lunch and dinner. And there are so many different ways to get protein. We can get protein from animal source or we can get protein for vegetable source or plants it's very important that you have a good intake of protein in the breakfast and i i know that a lot of people uh sometimes miss breakfast and breakfast is very important because you need the energy i mean you you just don't need protein just, you also need energy in order to do any activity that you had to do during the day. You have to get around 30, 30 grams of protein that you had to get in your three different meals. Also, we had to have in, enough intake of carbs because without carbs, we don't have energy enough to, to do our physical activities. There are bad carbs and there are good carbs. Um, we had to try to avoid the bad cars like the snacks and all those things that have uh, saturated fat because that are really bad for your body. But you instead can take healthy fats and healthy uh, carbs. For example, avocado is a really good source of healthy cholesterol that the body needs to process in order to produce hormones in males and females also a carb that is very healthy sweet potato sweet potato you should have sweet potato in the diet it's higher to the yes and it have a lot of vitamins and minerals and things that your body needs in that order you have to check what kind of things you need to eat daily to have the energy that you need to have a good physical activity another thing that is really important is that you have to change your mindset have a positive mindset before you go to the gym avoid have a negative attitude energy before we go to the gym so we can be focused in our exercises and also can create mind muscle connection while we are working out because that is very important when we work out if we are focused in our exercises if we are feeling each movement that is going to help us grow the muscle better 
because you are conscious of everything that you are doing in that moment. You are focused in your mind and all your body is working towards that activity that you are doing. You have to be mentally prepared when you going to do any activity. And when I say mentally prepared is that you have to have a plan. You have to have a plan in order to know what you are going to do. This is going to help you work towards your goals. Any goals that it's this last way, gain muscle, bigger, glutes, skinny, uh, core. You have to have a plan. And in that order, you are going to pursue your goals easy. I always organize my routines. Usually my first exercise, I, I perform hypertrophy training where I do really hard, I lift really heavy, and I do uh, reps between 20 and 10. Sometimes I hit also with supersets. Uh, I think that you have listened to me before what are supersets and what are hypertrophic training and how important is this to build muscle. You are gonna get strengthening, you are going to be stronger, you are going to last longer in your workouts, you are going to build your body stronger and also you are going to build muscle. So all these techniques are pretty important that you uh, add to your workouts. Now, I don't ask you to do 20 reps and do heavier because if you never had to do these techniques. It's important that you leave the process, right? When I started working out, I didn't start doing reps of 10 or 30. Sometimes I do 30, it depends on my exercise, but uh, I start with 10, even with 8. I start with 8, 10, 12 reps. My maximum was 15 reps. And I also start lifting not too heavy. Uh, everything is a process. But also something important that I have been say, I had said that this before is that when we are doing certain routine, right, we should first develop a plan and have a routine to do, but also we had to keep in mind that our body will get accustomed to this routine. And eventually we are going to, whatever we thought or we felt that it was hard to do, it is no hard anymore because our body get stronger we are building a strengthening we are building uh muscles so our body is going to change we are going to gain muscle we are going to be stronger so we need to change the plan or routine that we get all right so i'm super tired but i promise i'm going to do cardio so i'm gonna do five minutes cardio and then i'm gonna jump to abs i think that for me, a period to stick with a routine, it will be probably three months. And after three months, you probably can do a little change in your routine. Not necessarily you have to change all your exercises. You can incorporate new exercises. But the most important is you have to change weight and reps and play with the exercises in order to you trick your body to show your body we are doing something different we have new challenge it can be different for everybody and also for example when you get a top when you know all the exercises and you know the, ma the machines and you know everything and you do the super a lot of reps and everything then it's when almost uh we start change our exercise almost every week because the the, the body it gets so custom so we change the exercise almost every week but we don't change all the routine just one two exercises we try to hit different in the muscle in different way uh you saw me for example in rds 
I do RDLs and I do conventional RDLs and I do coursey lunges. Those exercises I do a lot, but I hit those exercises in different ways. I mean, this challenge, I'm going to show you my whole routine for one month. I do some cardio exercises between my workout exercises or uh, in the beginning. What I do these exercises first because it's going to help my body get warm right it's going to prepare my body to work out but also it hit my muscles and also it helped me start burning calories and burning fat while i am uh, doing these uh cardio exercises and then jump to uh weight exercise my body is totally exhausted it try to get energy to keep moving and working out and it's when the body start getting the energy for the fat for the fat in the body this way is an easy way to heat our muscles but also to burn calories and fat and i I suggest that if you have in mind to burn fat, you need to you need to do some cardio exercises between your weight exercises. This is going to help you burn fat easy and fast. Now I also try to hit the muscles in different way. For example, with uh, walking lunges. With walking lunges, uh, we can do simple and simple weight. And I do that long time ago. It's like I go go and back in walking lunges, um, and that was all. But instead of that, I try to keep this better and harder. So I develop a workout i do four sets and in each set i go and come back doing uh walking lunges and a squat and i go up and down and this up and down i raise in each set and it's pretty intense exercise it's going to hit your muscles of your hamstring and glutes is going to help you to grow muscle but also to get toned in your legs and something that we as a women try to avoid is strias strias and when you work with a uh, weight it's going to help you avoid develop uh, cellulitis and strias in your legs right because you are hitting the muscle the muscle get toned in this point you are gaining muscle and you are gaining tone in, in in the legs in so many ways you you leg and your skin is going to look pretty healthy and much better something important that you have to keep in mind if you want to try uh these uh hypertrophic trainings is that you cannot do this with the whole routine because this is a really hard way to work out and it's going to you're gonna be exhausted after the first uh, exercise so it is it's going to disgust your muscle it is not healthy to do that all whole workout or whole routine but you can choose one exercise to um and work out like this now supersets you can do supersets in your whole workout because supersets are kind of like you were intense but it's not as intense when you do a uh, hypertrophy training my first exercise was uh hypertrophy training i was walking lunges and i raised the i raised the reps I do that with uh, I was I guess was 55 pounds in each side 
and then I do kind of superset between uh, a press machine and conventional RDLs. This is a good way to hit your LEDs. You need to do supersets. It's going to help you get ton and gain muscle. Supersets are really good. Zero squat machine is also pretty good. And there are different ways that you can work out this machine. Uh, I love this machine because it gives you support but also uh, it, it helps you to, to gain muscle. You can play in this machine racing really heavy and it's either going to be any trouble because you don't have deal with equilibrium, you don't have deal with posture because you are just sit down there. The only thing that you have to do is do the force up to live that way. So this is a pretty good machine if you want to build muscle in your quads and hamstrings and your legs. The most important thing is just play. You had to play with the reps, you had to play with the way that you work out so you're gonna hit that muscle. You, you need to be sure that you are hitting your muscles good. Some way that you, he, you can heal your calves is uh, doing uh, three sets, but in each set, you're gonna hit different muscles of your calves. And we had inner muscles, outer muscles and in the back of our calves so we need to hit all those muscles to we build a really nice calves right for example i do this way i do my first set i do 20 reps and th those 20 reps i divide in 10 really deep movement and the next 10 it's going to be shorter and faster so in that when I do those children and faster, my muscle is already in fire. So it's going to hit your muscles and make your muscle work harder. So that is this way is when you you are burning that muscle and then your muscle grow up. Um, that is that the game that we have when we work out any machine we try to get tired and muscle and this had to give us the best perform right so it's pretty important that you you try to do this kind of game in any different exercise it, it's going to be entertaining for you it, it's 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 not going to be boring you don't see this as a tasks that you had to do you don't see that as a, something that you had to do but you see more as a challenge if you could do it you could do it one more you could do it heavier it, 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 you had to really enjoy and look you change the perspective of the gene in itself so you can enjoy and you just love every time that you work out and you just uh, enjoy your workout and your, your journey in the fitness today is my second day today is tuesday i'm going to work loose today i'm going to show you a little bit my workout but at the end i'm doing some uh, abs and cardio i'm going to do that for one month and see if i uh get fit my abs <laughs> it's important to get warm. There we go. We need to get warm. Or let's. This is the first exercise, and I'm going to do 20, 15, and 10 reps. All right, we are going to put. 75 pounds and do 15 reps we do like with 45 we do 20 all right try to tie your core keep your back straight all right 100 pounds 10 reps or 12 depends on how i feel <sighs> <sighs> Back. All right. Yes. The other leg. The other leg. The other leg. Oh, two. Oof. 
I'm going to pass to the second exercise because I'm going to work super sets. I'm going to do a uh, push leg down with uh, cushy lunges in the butt. <sighs> the gym is kind of like empty, so it's kind of nice. We're going to do cushy lunges in butt, so we're gonna go up. A cursy lounge, go up and down. Mm. I'm going to do two sets more of these super sets and then we pass to another exercise. So, we go long to the side and then to the back. Ah, I use 55 pounds and I do 10, 10 reps. All right, I do this with uh, the squat, 10 squat. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh my, oh shit. <sighs> oh. All right, take a position where you can put your feet up and go down. Uh. Oh. If we can, we can um, raise the reds in each set. I do 10 and then 15 and then 20. It would be great. Seven. Oh, gosh. Oh. All right. We are going to do cardio. And we're going to do five minutes. And then we want to pass to do um, abs. So. I cannot record myself in the side because how the machines are full. So, all right, let's go. Alright, so we are going to do abs. I'm going to work more like plank, plank abs. Uh, let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. I'm gonna do For my third day, that was on Wednesday, 
I usually do a uh, upper body workout with core. So in that day, I, I almost always do cardio before machines because uh, the exercises are not going to be so hard as we wore leads or glutes. So I decide to take to do my cardio before. So I do uh, 10 minutes of cardio, hitting the hitting the stack machine, going one minute faster, one minute slower, and so on. So it's going to to help me uh, burn fat and also to uh, getting warm my muscles to work out kind of like i always focus on my back and whatever else around it's welcome but i really focus on exercise for my back uh, but i do also exercise for um, my shoulders and also my biceps and triceps and something important in uh, upper body is that you can play with hypertrophic training too and you can also live heavy or even also live light but raise your reps so you can do whatever you want whatever you make you happy but remember you have to hit those muscles in different ways in order to grow muscle or uh get fit or get gain gain tone right it was heavy and i'm doing like three exercises uh, in one so it's cute but both arms and single arm like we talked before in other videos it's pretty good to do equal force in both arms for example, I tried to build a muscle in my back, so I lift heavy for my back and also my arms. When we lift heavy, not 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 necessary. We're gonna gain that big thing there. You have to work pretty heavy and every day to build those big muscles. So one day that we hit our upper body it's okay now if you goal it's build really good strong um, upper body then it will be good that you hit your upper body twice a week when you saw those girls that they uh, build muscle and they have really muscle their back and the def definition is because they were their upper body not just one time but more twice or more uh, when you try to build muscle in any part of your body it's necessary that you work more than one time for sure for example i hit my legs twice a week and I hit my glutes twice a week, and I hit my upper body one a week, but I try to hit this twice a week. Sometimes at home and the other time at the gym. Uh, and also, I now try to hit my core every single day and see what is happening, what happened. Um, to see if, if we need work more those abs in order to build a muscle there. So I, I, we, I'm going to see my results uh, in next week. It's going to be the last week for my challenge. So in this, in this uh, routine, this upper body, I try to lift really heavy. And something that I try to change is like I had to be so soft with myself after the accident. I tried to avoid lift heavy because I was like, all right, you won an accident, you are weak. But I cannot be sorry with myself. So I try to push myself in this challenge to be and live heavy and be strong and be capable to do harder. So in this workout for upper body is almost was the first the first time after my accident that was in March. We are in October that I try to obligate myself to live heavier than I have been doing. My 
injury was in my neck and my arm so it kind of like i was so weak to live i, I can even live I, it was so bad so i'm really happy that i was capable to live 20 pounds I was like, wow, you were capable, Andrea. So everything is possible if we want and if we try to do, right? It's good to, to hit your core in different ways. And like I told you, you don't need to. You can stay with a, a routine for your core for several days or for a certain time. And uh, once it um, you feel more comfortable with the routine, you could change the exercise, the reps, or you could you could change and do another different exercise. Today it's Thursday, and I'm going to work. Let's I'm going to start in free squat machine. And first, we are going to set up the machine to start working out. So we set up these uh, lots here so the body is gonna be two or it's going to be in line with our shoulders and put the border you have to keep this in the sides but I'm going to take this out because I need to record so so I'm going to do 10 reps to get warm and let's go. Two. And all right. We're going to do 20 reps. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, fifteen breaths. <sighs> Balkins. <laughs> Four more. All right. This is the first set. I'm going to do two sets more. Um, I'm going to do the same. 20, 15, and 10 reps with uh, 35, 40, and 45 pounds in each side. On. Um, I'm going to do supersets with course lounges. Let's go. Alright, so I fear I finished the first set. I rest a little bit, drink water, and ready for the second set. Same thing, 20, 15, 10, and 15 for super uh, uh, crucial lunges, and it's gonna be all. <sighs> all right, so this is the third exercise. Um, I'm going to do, uh, I guess it's called zero squat. I'm going to do three sets of between 15 and 20 reps. I'm going to see because I'm going to do heavy. So I'm going to do with 45 pounds in each side. I think I'm going to do probably 15 reps. Um, I'm going to do super set with uh, a squat with hands up. You're going to see how is that because I don't know really what is the name. So let's go. I'm going to do 45 pounds here. Alright, we're gonna go 
we are going to do um it's a squat with hands up i mean you put in a name this is uh 55 pounds i don't know if i can do that with this i'm going to try i don't know if i can do it i have it doing with 45 40 pounds all right let's go all right we got it so we're gonna do this two exercise i mean i do this two exercise in super set <sighs> all right so last exercise i'm going to do calls i want to go i want to do leg extension but it's busy so i don't want way i need to do a lot of things so i just going to change leg extension for calls 10 fast 10 slow or 10 long 10 short straight outwards inwards three sets of each time very good oh. Oh. holy shit sorry Two more sets. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go. Five minutes. Ooh. And after that, I'm gonna do 30 seconds doing leg extension and one minute going fast. So we have 47 seconds, 49. We are going to go fast. All right, so now we are going to do abs and let's go. Let's go kill those abs. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> lower back here lower back all right we don't we go home 
all right hi guys today is friday and today i'm going to work glutes and uh, we want to start first with some stretching we need more outlets because i'm going to work a lot of exercise for glutes all right I have a feeling that my legs uh, get a little like big from the workout this week and, uh, and today is my five day you see, look I think they are getting big here like, all right so we are going to do push lunges here three all right there we go one Alright. Alright, going to do the second set. This is kind of hard because the range of motion is bigger because I do higher than always. I don't have any way. So I wanna see if I put on this template. And let's see how it goes. Right. here we go so first you put your weight in the shoulder and then you are going to start one two one three I do three sets of 10 reps, first with no way, then with 10 pounds, and the next one 10 pounds because this is hard. Next exercise, we are going to do a single leg squat. It's different to curse lunges. Curse lunges is more sideways, and this is straight. So, let's go. We're going to go up and place and down. One, two. Yeah, I guess this is harder because the bench is higher than the other. So, okay. One, two, three. Six. Oh my gosh. Oh. We're going to do it with 15. One. Two. Oh. Holy Jesus. There. One. Ah, two more. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Oh, man. Ah. oh my gosh. Ah. Anyway, we don't. I think I'm going to pull more way. Ah. I mean, it's no the way that is hard. Is the is the rain is the how you say is the higher that is the bench it may be harder but I do with 15 pounds I probably gonna see if I do 25 pounds the last one but I always do this exercise with 25 and 35 and 45 today is less because the higher is bigger and it's harder to go up with the weight. 
<laughs> so today I'm doing the exercise differently. Now you have to put this bench. If you wanna do to the right, put a little bit to the to the left, so you can you have space to go up. One, two, oh my, oh my, one, two, and. I guess I'm going to do 10, 2, 3, 4, 1, last one. It was hard. All right, next exercise. All right, so we are going to do RDLs. Um, let's go do this. One. I'm doing 25 pounds and I'm doing 12, 12 reps, 3 sets, and this is the second set. We're going to do this, this exercise, and we're going to do 3 sets. I'm going to do with uh, 35 pounds and 45 pounds. One, two, uh, uh, let's go. Uno, dos, tres. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh, 45. Oh, I cannot put that there. Oh, you fuck. Oh, no. Let's go. One, two. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Out there because my phone is dying. Uh. My phone died before hit my uh, core, so I had to record with my iPhone. It's going to be a little blurry because I had some problems between my iPhone and my editing program. I tried to hit all my uh, core with different exercises. I love really crunches are pretty good exercise for hit your core. You can do crunches in different way. I love to do with single leg, ball legs, raises legs. I love to do a lot of exercises. Are even if you don't use weight you are working your core and if you don't feel that it's enough 10 reps you can um, raise your reps to 20 30 50 whatever number you think is okay but if you work out as i'm working out i do different exercises without with a with a minimum time of rest then 10 reps are enough to do because in the end at the end you are going to be really exhausted i always try to do kind of uh, stretching and it's pretty important to do a stretching to like relieve this stress from your lower back because that way you are going to avoid any future uh, injury in your back and also your arms or your legs um so i'm really happy with the results on this first week of my challenge i saw uh, my core getting toned i saw my legs getting also a little big uh, like i told you i lost a lot of toning my legs 
um, and I wasn't happy with that because I kind of my legs have been always really hard like you touch them and even not move and I love that they're like nowhere too soft and my last word soft so uh I get a lot of tone, I get a lot of tone with this first week. So that showed me that if you have uh, your legs a little uh, soft, you can fix this with a, a proper uh, workout routine and be focused on that. So you are going to fix and get more tone in your muscle. I have something, I want to talk about this in a future video. But I need to tell you now, because it's something that I had in my head uh, when I was taking creatine. Um, people use creatine for gain muscle, right? And you gain muscle because you gain water in your muscle. So you is a retention of a retention of water in your muscle, so you gain volume. So it's all about water. Um, even if I have written a lot of things about the creatine, taking creatine is going to help you have a, it's going to help you have a healthy skin. Your skin gonna, you're gonna gain tone. Your skin gonna look healthy. Blah blah blah. I saw the opposite in my skin. I know I saw that my I was getting weight but my skin was kind of soft like I, you, I, I almost was uh, looking like I was getting cellulitis in my legs it, it wasn't like like really uh, how you say that like firm it wasn't firm it was more like gelatin and I was disappointed I don't know it was because I get it all or was because the creatine and I stopped taking the creatine. I start working this way really hard and my legs are toned again and also firm. So that explained me and gave my answer that my legs were getting a little soft because the water retention from the creatine. So I, I think that in my case, I know surely not in your case with other people but in my case i feel like uh creatine was creating this uh, look of softness in my skin in my lids i was i was even getting muscle but because the water retention i also i was getting big in my stomach like i was getting beat everywhere so i was kind of like mm, i don't know if i want to keep taking creatine anyway i started taking creatine and also uh, amino acids because i was start getting sick i, I get tachycardia i get insomnia i get like respiratory problems that i cannot breathe it was kind of uh, it was really bad so i stopped those supplements and i get better it was my first time that i take creatine and i feel that i have been doing okay since before i have been working out taking protein um i feel that we do not necessarily need to take these supplements to gain weight we can build muscle for natural sources as animal protein plant protein food we can do that if we have a really a plan that we are going to keep going on and doing every day in good intake of protein, good good intake of uh, healthy fat, healthy carbs. It's going to help us to build a good muscle on our legs, get ton, get a healthy skin because that was I that was it was my problem with me with the creatine. My skin wasn't looking at all healthy. It was looking more like I was getting cellulitis, and I never ever had suffered of cellulitis. So it was kind of I was really disappointed to that. I escaped. I don't want to take creatine anymore i feel that like i can get protein and i can get and build muscle 
from natural sources as uh, animal or plant protein sources. And I, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but I just want to tell you this because I have this in my mind and I want, uh, if you are in this, uh, on, on the side that like you don't know if they take creatine or no i can tell you you can build muscle from natural sources you don't need to buy supplements to have a good um, um form and tone um a big leg uh, you can build muscles with natural sources. Now, if you want to try, you can try. You're free to do it. And let me know how is your experience. You can comment in this video because I am really happy and I want to hear uh, some of you that are already taking creatine and let me know what you think about what I have to say here because probably it's used in my body. I'm not sure. It, it was my experience and I want to tell you that. All right, guys. So I hope that you like this video. Next week, I'm going to have my second uh, week in my challenge. I'm going to talk about other points that are important uh, in this fitness journey. And until the next video, bye-bye.